I'm not sure if this is gonna be a mailbag or unboxing video. Um, oh, well, look at the uh, video title and uh, then you know what I decided myself for. Um, yeah, it's from Amazon. And, oh, a red latch. What happens if we pull that? Nothing. Okay. But you can rip it open. Anyway. Ah, yeah. That looks good. At least it doesn't look destroyed because aside from that flimsy bag, ah, okay, not so flimsy. There is absolutely no packaging. Yeah, no box no styrofoam, no nothing. They just threw the case where this comes with uh, into a mailbag and uh, mailed it. I'm not sure if I like it. But as you can see, um, that's a Proxon um, IBS-E. Um, in German uh, Industriebauschleife. Um, there's something in English somewhere. Yeah, that's uh, the professional focus. Thank you. The professional drill grinder IBS E. And uh, yeah, I mm, no, I, I haven't owned a Dremel and uh, I didn't want it a Dremel. And that was my choice. So uh, yeah, let's get it out. Oh, secured. I hope I... <sighs> Let's see if the case is damaged. Oh, sounds like it has real rubber feet. Not bad. I mean, the case is a wee bit on the flimsy side. It's uh, not sturdy plastic, but... Uh, at least it's a plastic case. Uh, yeah, these latches will probably go after a while. Then we have an overview of what's all inside. So, uh, yeah, uh, warning, safety, catalog, and uh, the IBS E handbook. Who needs that? Yeah, a bunch of discs for grinding and uh, yeah, getting things apart. E bunch of different collets. Hey, they come and can you read that? Uh, black on black always be a little bit hard, but they come with uh, thank you with inch for your American guys and in millimeters. So bunch of collets. 
and sorry, it's coming out again. Some tool for some purpose. Uh, I guess that tool is for, uh, you know, um, has something to do with the collet. Um, some more tools for drilling, uh, polishing, grinding. Not too bad. Some styrofoam. And the tool itself. Yeah, that's the Proxon IBS and uh, IBS slash E. And you can see, uh, well, you probably can't. Uh, you can regulate uh, the RPMs from 5,000 to 20,000. You can hang it somewhere, zooming out again, and uh, what my, uh, the main reason for buying that one, it's a little bit more unwieldy than the smaller Proxons or your Dremels, uh, but the gear and um, oh, how are they called? Uh, these uh, round thingies with the balls, the bearings, uh, is all housed in a real aluminum housing instead of a plastic housing. And it has actually on the front uh, double bearings, two bearings inside, if you can believe them. And yeah, this is obviously, yeah, for talking down your collet. And this little thingy here is for, yeah, blocking it. So you can actually talk it down. Yeah. As I said, a little bit more unwieldy than uh, the smaller models. Uh, weights about half a kilogram, so a pound, more or less. And uh, the other ones, uh, with uh, which are full plastic, come to um, yeah, fifty grams less and. Maybe a little bit easier to hold, but uh, yeah, I wanted something sturdy. So uh, let's fire that thing up and uh, listen to it. By the way, the power cord is uh, very nice. Uh, it's yeah, even got some texture to it. So it's it's not PVC. It's uh, silicon or I guess even it's real rubber. So yeah, quite nice. So yeah, firing it up. Do you hear that? 5,000 ripples. Twenty thousand ripples. Can you hear that? Yeah, you probably can hear it, and I have to speak a little louder, but... I mean, that's nothing uh, you can't switch on. Uh, yeah, depending on your building, on, on midnight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's also almost 
well there there is a vibration but it's it's much less than uh, how to compare that uh, much less than an electric toothbrush even I mean yeah I like it so far. So, um, for all your uh, <laughs> shop guys, uh, I'll try to measure the run out. <laughs> I'll try. Sorry, that's all I could do on <laughs> short notice. I don't have a stand for that thing and uh, there's no metal. <laughs> on that thing um, so I clamped it to the uh, magnetic stand of the gauge and um, yeah uh, I see what in and uh, let's turn it a little bit oh I can feel the permanent magnets oop I saw that I'm going back Okay, I am not touching four hundreds, five hundreds, I'm going back. So yeah. within the error of my uh, measurement I'd say that's uh, okay let's be critical yeah okay yeah it's not exact science but I say if I'm very careful goes from two to six so four hundredths of a millimeter run out without load if I put a little bit load on it so yeah you see uh, I'm moving the whole assembly Yeah, that's probably more your concern than the run out, which is also here. Yeah, four hundredths of a millimeter run out. Yeah, this is uh, uh, very improvised. So uh, I looked at the website again and uh, there it says three hundredths of a millimeter run out and I measured four hundredths of a millimeter and uh, yeah um, I think that's completely okay hopefully so uh, let's cut some <coughs> aluminium that's 2.5 millimeter aluminium I uh, my first Dremel like uh, that's of course a Proxon tool of uh, I don't even know if I choose the right disc uh, for the job, but uh, oh, let's see. Let's start at 5,000 ribbons and uh, let's see what happens. And uh, don't worry, I have a bucket down here uh, with uh, uh, yeah, combustible stuff. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> and I have glasses on like I always do. Oh, that's got some talk. Okay, and the first disc is gone. That was interesting. 
yeah totally broke up maybe i'm not using the right tool yeah that thing has so much torque that you forget that you have only the tiny brittle disc here at the business end and uh, you start pressing and uh, the disc doesn't survive um, yeah let's continue with uh, 5000 and um, then we gradually wind it up Okay. Uh, I'm not really good at this, am I? <laughs> Sorry. Next is. This is, uh, even if, yeah, it will be successful. Uh, this is quite fun and not as unwieldy as I thought, at least, at least not for that kind of work. Um, however, if you uh, can tell me what kind of discs I should use, or maybe there are small saw blades available for that kind of stuff, for cutting aluminium or steel, uh, let me know in the comments, please. And I will now go up to uh, 10,000 10, RPM, maybe that's the problem. Oh. Much better, much, much better. I mean, I'm running this and you can still hear me, I hope at 10,000. Now let's go to 20. Okay. Yeah, but <clears throat> I have obviously to learn a lot. But yeah, this is has absolutely no problem cutting this is two five millimeter yeah so a uh, new toy um, obviously there's skill involved in uh, using this monster and um, yeah again if you have any tips uh, leave them in the comments below oh sorry just wanted to say bye <laughs>